so this is part two. I changed a few things. I made it smaller, so her eyes a little bit smaller, her mouth a little bit smaller, and now I'm going to draw the the hair black. I wanted to make flowers, but now I have these pieces uh, really from my tin where I was mixing the paint and it was sticking um, and I pulled it uh, out and then I had these uh, pieces so I'm, I'm making abstract flowers with these I think I already said something like that it has been a couple of uh, days, a week since I worked on this one and I really have to send it in so tomorrow is the closing time uh, that I can uh, send it in so <laughs> it's a little bit on the um, yeah it wasn't really my intention to wait this long but well life happens. I also made this one so I am going to think about which one to use. So this one also is her eye, two hands and a bird that is free flying and spreading love. As you can see those are hearts that the bird is spreading and her eye and then the eyebrow I uh, made it a little bit into this bird so <laughs> and then the colors of the Mexican flag I also incorporated in this and also these movements uh, yeah shapes so that the bird is really moving <laughs> So I'm going to, yeah, it's going to be a last minute call which one I will send in for the, for the contest or competition, I don't know how you call that, but yeah, I wasn't really happy about the face, it was too large, too wide, the eyes di just didn't fit, so I got one of my drawings and I uh, put it next to it to get a little bit of a better composition so I started to work on her face a little bit more this is a large um, one in between let me see and this is Frida when she was a child also used uh, pictures for reference and I used this one I'm dropping everything of course <laughs> um, use this one to make even though she's looking uh, to the other side but yeah I really wanted to make everything smaller and more her face now it's a little bit childlike because she has more of a jawline so I want to try to to make that happen let me see I have the white here and what I do is and I can also show that for the mouth I just when there is already a lot going on you can make it a little bit lighter and then draw over it so I will try that to make the jawline a little bit less childlike now it's a little bit round as you can see I don't know if this can um, work but I'm just trying it if I can't make it work then I will leave it but I am trying so let's even though she's looking at that that way I will keep this on my uh, other side and then and so I have a lot of little pieces I have to clean it up when I'm done 
so this is how I did it I just also did that with the eyes and then draw over the eyes with white uh, carefully and then draw the eyes in uh, again just as this um, one this is also a little bit too large but the problem with this one is is that it is so uh, yeah it's not a thin uh, how do you call that um, tip so it's a little bit hard to yeah I will just make that a shadow or go over it with white so this is how I did the whole face made it smaller and then for instance uh, you can do that on top as well because her lips wasn't that round on the side so I also wanted to change that and don't be afraid because if you don't like it you can change it back if you want to so her lips are a little bit more like this and also the middle I don't really like so I'm changing everything really I could have <laughs> chosen to go um, to start all over but that's I, I just thought I would try it and give it a go and if it doesn't work I will just start over I think that the, her lips are higher as well over here I don't think that's really visible so I will get some more white in the middle and then I can use my pencil as well to draw a new shape in the yeah it's a little bit the same a little bit smaller on top and that's what I like a little bit more white and also if you you can also use uh, your mistakes as shadows or the previous shape uh, incorporated as a shadow and you know the harder you will push the more you will uh, unveil what's beneath it so with this it's really necessary to use soft the soft ones and then really try to and you already see the difference if you compare it with this one I also don't like the eyebrows that large it's too large and that is making it a little bit um, not um, yeah I just don't like it <laughs> I will try to make it a little bit larger and then go smaller at smaller at the chin like this try to incorporate her more a larger jaw and here I'm going really wrong but well Mm, yeah I like it a little bit better it's not really what I want but it's, it is better it's a little bit wiggly <laughs> should have ate something so that I'm not that wiggly <laughs> trembly okay yeah that's a lot better than what it was so this uh, side I'm making a little bit more her shape and it doesn't really have to look exactly but what I had wasn't was that much of uh, what I wanted that I didn't like it in the end so see if I can get that to happen you can see the other mouth uh, too much of the other drawing uh, underneath so it's really a balance between her um, 
yeah the sizes of everything so her eyes and of course if you make those cheeks it could end up looking a little bit childlike but that's but I still want to keep those cheeks so I do like them so I I wanted to keep it so now I want to draw in the back a little bit more the red on some places I still see white lines let me see if my sound is a little bit on so it's all dry I wanted to work on it even on top of the matte medium but I stopped <laughs> myself and now it's all dry and as you can see it all it is not shiny so yeah I really love this uh, yellow that I did yeah I really love also these mixed media flowers <laughs> those are a little bit shiny because of the some of the paint is shiny so yeah so this is uh, how it looks now and I'm really happy with it I wanted to show you all my projects that uh, are uh, yeah Frida Kahlo related or inspired here with this these two I made it not really uh, to look like her but it is a little bit sort of abstract uh, and I use the same picture as you can see as a reference um, yeah and here um, I also made her older because she didn't get really get to be really old she was 47 when she died so so I wanted to make her as a really sweet old lady older lady like that so this is really something that I will keep together I think I don't know <laughs> so here you can see also really the difference in abstract drawing that is reminded of her with the eyebrows but this uh, with this one I really try to make it look like her a little bit so that's the difference and here you also can see a great difference here I also made it not to really look like her but it's inspired to be her and I also uh, used a picture and I with this one I also used those uh, painty uh, stuff paint dried paint chips and here's also a piece that reminded me as a single rose and yeah, that's really cool to use I think And this is also one of my favorites. So everyone that I talked to so so exactly what I meant and that it was uh, Frida Kahlo, but <laughs> she has red hair and yeah, it's um, the earring and the head, the hairdo and the eyebrow. Even though you can't see the other one, but you can see that it's all the way and also she doesn't really look like her but yeah it's some abstract way to draw her and and the last one I made and I'm going to make something else uh, looking like this but with a different bird and uh, yeah I made uh, a bird and um, I made two hands at first and then in the middle 
uh, the opening I made her eye and here she's spreading love with the with the hearts so yeah I really enjoyed working on this project and perhaps I'm going to make something uh, different as well I want to make a really large uh, painting of her and one of these I will use a, as a reference but it could be that I'm making dividing it in several things as Frida did herself um, and then depicting something that is going on in the world or and that also will be totally inspired by uh, Frida Kahlo and she will be the subject as well I think I don't know so I hope you enjoyed my uh, long videos I don't know if I'm going to make more of the same kind or if I'm going to make them shorter but I am enjoying making uh, videos again and enjoying uh, all the whole process of showing what I am showing you all what I'm working on so yeah so I think I'm going to keep doing that uh, as for as long as I uh, can so um, okay well this is it Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video project. I will see you then, hopefully. <laughs> Bye. Doei. Doei.